The lost city of Atlantis is one of the most intriguing and enduring mysteries of human history. According to legend, this ancient civilization was highly advanced and possessed technology and knowledge far beyond that of any other society at the time. However, it is said to have disappeared suddenly and inexplicably, leaving behind only stories, myths, and legends that continue to fascinate people to this day. Despite the many theories and claims about Atlantis and its supposed location, the truth about this legendary city remains elusive and shrouded in mystery. But first I must explain what the lost city of Atlantis really is. What is, the lost city of Atlantis? Plato's account of Atlantis is one of the most famous and enduring legends in human history. His dialogues, Timaeus, and, Critias, Plato describes Atlantis as a highly advanced civilization that existed thousands of years ago. According to his account, Atlantis was a prosperous and powerful city-state that sank into the ocean after it angered the gods. Plato's story of Atlantis begins with the philosopher Critias recounting a conversation he had with his grandfather, who had heard the story from the ancient Athenian statesman Solon. Solon had traveled to Egypt and had learned about Atlantis from the priests there, who claimed that their civilization was older than any other on earth. In the story, Atlantis was ruled by a series of kings who were descended from Poseidon, the god of the sea. The Atlanteans were said to have created a utopian society, with advanced technology, sophisticated architecture, and a highly organized political system. The city itself was said to be constructed of precious metals, including gold, silver, and bronze. However, as the Atlanteans became more prosperous and powerful, they became arrogant and began to act disrespectfully toward the gods. According to the story, Zeus, the king of the gods, became angry and decided to punish the Atlanteans by causing a catastrophic earthquake and flood that destroyed their civilization and caused the city to sink beneath the ocean. Plato's account of Atlantis has fascinated people for centuries, and many have speculated about the true origin and location of the city. Some have suggested that Atlantis was located in the Mediterranean, while others have speculated that it was located in the Atlantic Ocean or even further afield. While there is no concrete evidence to support the existence of Atlantis, many scholars believe that Plato's story may have been based on real events or on the experiences of other ancient civilizations. Now that you're all caught up, let's talk about where Atlantis truly is. Location number 1, the Canary Islands. One of the key arguments for the Canary Islands as the location of Atlantis is the fact that the islands were once home to the Guanches, an ancient civilization that lived on the islands before the arrival of the Spanish in the 15th century. Some scholars believe that the Guanches may have been descendants of the Atlanteans and that they preserved some of the knowledge and culture of their ancient ancestors. Another argument in favor of the Canary Islands as the location of Atlantis is the presence of ancient structures and artifacts on the islands that some believe to be remnants of the lost civilization. For example, the island of Tenerife is home to the Guimar Pyramids, a series of six-step pyramids that some believe were built by the Guanches but may have been influenced by Atlantean architecture. In addition, the islands have a number of mysterious rock carvings and inscriptions that have yet to be fully deciphered. However, there are also many arguments against the Canary Islands as the location of Atlantis. One of the main criticisms is that the islands are relatively small and isolated and do not match the descriptions of Atlantis in Plato's dialogues. Atlantis is said to have been a vast empire with a sophisticated culture and a powerful navy, which would have required a much larger landmass and access to the open sea. While the Canary Islands have been suggested as a possible location for Atlantis, the theory remains highly controversial and unproven. While there are some intriguing similarities between the Guanches and the Atlanteans, but the theory still remains, did Atlantis ever existed or was it really located in the Canary Islands? Location number 2, Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico is a large body of water located on the southern coast of the United States, bordered by Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. It is known for its warm waters, diverse marine life, and beautiful beaches. 
However, many people believe that the Gulf of Mexico is more than just a natural wonder, but also the location of the legendary city of Atlantis. Many theories have been proposed regarding the location of Atlantis, and some believe that the city may have been located in the Gulf of Mexico. Supporters of this theory point to various pieces of evidence, such as underwater structures, geological formations, and ancient artifacts, which they believe could be remnants of the lost city. One piece of evidence that supports the theory of Atlantis in the Gulf of Mexico is the discovery of a large underwater structure known as the Yucatan Channel. This underwater formation is located off the coast of Mexico and has been described as a submerged road that leads to an underwater city. Some have speculated that this city could be Atlantis, as it fits the description of a highly advanced civilization that was destroyed by a cataclysmic event. Another piece of evidence is the discovery of a large underwater pyramid near the coast of Louisiana. This pyramid has been estimated to be around 10,000 years old and is believed to be a remnant of a highly advanced civilization that once existed in the region. Some believe that this civilization could be Atlantis and that the pyramid is evidence of their advanced technology. However, while there may be some evidence that supports the theory of Atlantis in the Gulf of Mexico, many experts remain skeptical. But before I tell you the next theory, if you're enjoying this video make sure to like and subscribe. Location number 3, the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world, covering more than 60 million square miles and accounting for more than one-third of the Earth's total surface area. Its vast expanse of water, which stretches from the Arctic in the north to the Southern Ocean in the south, has captured the imaginations of people for centuries, leading to many legends and myths. The idea that Atlantis was located in the Pacific Ocean is based on several factors. First, some ancient texts and maps suggest that the legendary city was situated beyond the Pillars of Hercules, which many scholars believe to be the modern-day Strait of Gibraltar. If this is the case, then Atlantis could have been located anywhere beyond the western edge of the Mediterranean, which would include the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Second, some geologists and archaeologists have pointed to various features of the Pacific Ocean that they claim could be evidence of a lost civilization. For example, there are underwater structures off the coast of Japan that some researchers believe could be the remains of ancient temples or cities. Additionally, some researchers have suggested that the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a region of intense volcanic and seismic activity that encircles the Pacific Ocean, could be related to the destruction of Atlantis. According to this theory, a catastrophic event such as a massive earthquake or volcanic eruption could have destroyed the city and led to its disappearance beneath the waves. Location number 4, The Caribbean Islands The Caribbean theory suggests that Atlantis was located in the Caribbean Sea. This theory is based on several pieces of evidence, including similarities between the geography of the Caribbean and the description of Atlantis given by Plato, as well as archaeological discoveries in the region. Some proponents of the Caribbean theory point out that the Caribbean Sea has many of the features described by Plato, such as a large central plain surrounded by mountains, a network of waterways, and a rich supply of precious metals. They also suggest that the Caribbean Sea was an important center of trade and commerce in ancient times, which could explain the Atlantean seafaring abilities and wealth. Archaeological evidence from the Caribbean supports the idea that an advanced civilization existed in the region. For example, the Taino people, who inhabited the Caribbean islands before the arrival of European colonizers, were skilled farmers, traders, and craftsmen who built impressive structures and created intricate artwork. In the end, the story of Atlantis remains a mystery, and while many theories exist, we may never know the true origin or location of this mythical city. Plato's account has left an enduring legacy, and the story of Atlantis continues to captivate the imaginations of people around the world. However, the search for this lost city continues to inspire explorers, scientists, and historians to uncover new evidence and explore the mysteries of the ocean. Who knows what other mysteries and secrets lie hidden in the depths of our oceans, waiting to be discovered. Are you curious about the pyramids of Giza, 
click the video that pops up on screen, and make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.